another set of real numbers is what we call as rational numbers. So rational numbers is represented by letter Q, capital Q. That's the symbol for rational numbers. And the meaning of this is any number that can be expressed into fraction A divided by B, where A and B are integers and B is not equal to zero. Another way of saying all those numbers that could be expressed into fractions are called rational numbers. Okay, here are the subsets of rational numbers or kinds of rational numbers. The first one is integers. Negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. So why is it that integers are called as rational numbers? Because all of these numbers can be expressed into fraction. We could change negative 3 into fraction. So as with negative 1, 1, 2, and 3. So the basic of fraction is there is numerator and denominator. Okay, the second subset of real numbers is fractions. Of course, fraction itself, rational numbers. So 1 half, 2 fifth, 3 fourth, 5 over 3, 3 eight. Okay. Now, another subset of rational number is what we call terminating decimals. What is terminating decimals? Just like example, 1.5, 2.4, 1 and 5 tenths, 2 and 45 hundredths, and 4 and 15 hundredths. So terminating decimals, it stop on 5. Exact value. It has an exact value. It terminates. Another example of, or another subset of rational numbers is what you call as repeating non-terminating decimals. Okay, now repeating and terminating decimals. Like for this example, 32.1212. So this bar here above is called as vinculum. It means that numbers is repeated infinitely. It's 2.3333 and this 3 and this vinculum here means the number is repeated infinitely for the 7.0505050. So 05 has vinculum and this means that this 05 is repeated infinitely. Now these terminating decimals and repeating non-terminating decimals are subsets of rational numbers because we could change this one into fraction. We could change this one into fraction and we could change this one into fraction. So that is why these are subsets of rational numbers. Example, so write whether the following is a rational number or not rational number. So, to make you understand further about rational number, let's have number one. Is five a rational number? Could we change five into fraction? Yes, so therefore five is a rational number. And what is the fractional form of five? So it's, what is the fractional form of five? It's five over one. So the basic of fraction is there is numerator and this is denominator. That's fraction. Okay, number two. Here's number two. Two fifth. Is this a rational number? Uh, does this fraction has numerator and denominator? Yes, so this two fifth is a rational number. Now, third example. Square root of five. Could we express square root of five into fraction? No, we cannot. So therefore, this square root of 5, this is really square root of 5, this is irrational number because, because we could not express this one into fraction. This, ha, this ha, don't have exact value. Okay, because this cannot be expressed into fraction. It doesn't have exact value. Okay, number 4, 1.7. Is this a rational number or irrational number? Could we change 1.7 into fraction? Yes, so therefore, this is a rational number. So fraction form of 1 over 1.7 is 17 over 10 or 1 and 7 over 10. Okay, now, now here is number 5. Now, 0 0.25 vinculum is a rational number. So its fractional form is 25 over 99. Pi, is this a rational number or irrational number? Pi is used when you'll be computing 
area of a square. Or area of a circle, rather. Okay, so this is a rational number because there is no exact value for pi. How about e? E, a natural exponential function or number. So this is irrational. This e doesn't have exact value, so therefore this is an irrational number. So I'm